when it comes to advances in graft versus host disease, I think we need to distinguish uh, several uh, aspects. First of all, prevention of GVHD. And I believe today the uh, highest level of, of enthusiasm is about how to refine the use of uh, a post-transplant cyclophosphamide with or without ATG to further improve GVHD uh, prophylaxis and control. The second parameter is about uh, frontline treatment of GVHD, whether acute or chronic. And unfortunately, uh, for the time being, it looks like that uh, uh, high-dose steroids uh, remain uh, the backbone and uh, the uh, key uh, players in the frontline setting. However, things are really nicely moving when it comes uh, to treating acute GVHD beyond first line uh, and for treating chronic GVHD beyond first line. In another word, second line, third line in the, in the refractory setting. So for a, a refractory acute GVHD, cellular refractory acute GVHD, I think we've seen uh, some uh, uh, interesting and positive results with ruxolitinib, JAK2 uh, inhibition. And I think the experience is accumulating now with ruxolitinib as a treatment for uh, uh, steroid refractory acute GVHD. However, it doesn't solve all the problems, and this is where uh, I'm very enthusiastic about uh, the impressive results that are generated with microbiota modulation and uh, fecal microbiota transfer, which is allowing to salvage a patient with uh, highly advanced uh, acute uh, GVHD. So this is really good news. In terms of chronic GVHD, uh, I think uh, uh, the field has seen uh, the uh, advent and even approval by FDA uh, in the last three, four, five years of three uh, drugs, ibrutinib first, based on a single arm phase one, two trial. Then uh, we have ruxolitinib based on the REACH3 uh, trial. And more recently, we've seen belumosidil. So uh, on one hand, you have BTK inhibition, you have JAK inhibition, and now you have ROC2 inhibition. So uh, with all of these tools, I think in the near future, we will be able uh, to further I think, uh, optimize the management of patient uh, with GBHD, uh, especially beyond the first line. And this is really uh, very reassuring because for the last uh, two, three, four decades, we've been really struggling, uh, trying to bring uh, new drugs into the GVHD space, uh, but uh, many uh, trials failed, and now we have drugs approved, which is really great.